Hi Leo, it's Zahara Stars with the Loom Astrology and Tarot doing your second week of um, August 2020 reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. As always, always hoping the best for you guys. Um, so let's take a look and see what's going on with Leos. Please give me the most accurate messages and only the most accurate messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the second half, half of August 2020. Um, please keep in mind, you guys, you got to check your rising or your moon sign. Sorry about that. Um, if this doesn't resonate, because your messages will likely be there too. Your rising sign is really important, but some people resonate more with their moon sign some months and the rising sign other months or their sun sign. If you have a lot of planets in Leo, then this reading will likely resonate with you. So let's take a look. What's to come for Leo for the second half of August 2020? All right. Wow. We got the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning, things starting to bud, things going in your favor, new opportunities, so the start of something new, but usually this is a breakthrough of a new start of something that's gonna grow or an indication that you're moving in the right direction and things are gonna start budding in a big way. So that's awesome. And then we got the Page of Pentacles. So this is the start of something new. It could be a younger Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, sun, moon, or rising that's playing into this reading. Remember that you all are involved in different situations. Just because you're a Leo doesn't mean that every Leo is ex experiencing exactly the same thing. But the energies will be um, able to be applied to your specific situation. So take it how it resonates. So this is the start of something new. It could be a message about money, a new job opportunity, something budding. It is pentacles. Um, we'll take a look at that. Some of you are looking at, I can see right now, starting a new business, looking at a new way to make money, um, and definitely starting something new as far as money is concerned, okay? Now, we got the Seven of Wands, and this is about protecting yourself, defending yourself, feeling like you have to fight for yourself. Um, you could feel like people are attacking you, people are coming after you, people are saying negative things about you. Um, but really, it's about you defending yourself, you standing up for yourself, you not taking any more or tolerating any more crap from anyone. Um, but we'll take a look and see how that plays in and what that's about. And then we got you, Leo. We got the Queen of Wands. Now, this could be another fire sign, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, sun, moon, or rising that's playing into this reading as well. This could be very well be another person. Um, I do feel like for a lot of you, this is you. This is you starting something new. This is a new breakthrough coming through. This is a new money opportunity. This is you looking at new ways to make money. I feel like a lot of you are tired of feeling like you have to fight for what you have. You have to defend yourself. You have to protect yourself. Um, a lot of you have been feeling like there's forces working against you, people challenging you, challenging situations, however it resonates. But this is definitely standing up and protecting yourself, defending yourself, or having to fight through something, dealing with difficulties, feeling like people are working against you. Now, I do feel like a lot of you have are coming out here as yourself. A lot of you are returning back to yourself. You want to be more authentic. You want to, you're feeling a chomping at the bit for something new. You want a breakthrough. You want change. A lot of you maybe have been experiencing some difficulty in the workplace, some frustrations, aggravations in the workplace is what I'm getting, but it could be with relationships. It could be generally with anything, but you're really looking at what can I do to make more money? What can I do? Can I start something new? Um, you know, what would I like to do? Something that's making me feel better about my situation. Some of you are changing your perspective on what it is you want to do. But let me tell you, coming out with the Ace of Wands, there's something new starting. There is a breakthrough. There is energy, the universe on your side saying, you can do this. You got this. We're helping you. This is also new opportunities presenting themselves to you. New jobs, new things. So there's a lot of new movement and new opportunities presenting themselves. So let's take a look and see. I got this Ace of Wands for Leo, second half of August, 2020. All right, so we got the Nine of Wands. So here we have you, you know, going through the battle. You've been through it. This is the car of setting up, you know, 
fortress or protecting yourself again. It's similar to that one, but it's different. It's different in the fact that you've been through it, you're now stabilizing. You're stabilizing yourself, you're getting more grounded. This is the card of determination, okay? This is being determinated to follow through on your new plans here. Some of you have been through the battle, okay? Now, we got the Six of Pentacles. Somebody investing in you, you investing in yourself, you looking at what you want to invest in. What do you really want? What do you want to put your money into? Looking at investments, looking at places to put your money. Um, this is also about receiving money, okay? This is other people investing in you. And I do feel like this is coming through for you with this new Ace of Wands. Some of you have definitely been through it. You're really looking at how to change things. And here's your opportunity. Your opportunity is, where do you want to put your money? What, who was going to put their money in you? And I see somebody doing it here. There could be a new job opportunity, some sort of breakthrough coming through there. Now, we do have the Three of Pentacles. So there is an opportunity, okay? Somebody here wants to invest in you. And they want to invest in you and they want to work and collaborate with you, okay? And this is this new beginning that's presenting itself, okay? Now, some of you, this could be um, in September that the start of this happens. The timing will be different because your sun and rising sign are at different degrees, okay? But this is somebody investing their resources, their time, their efforts, and everything into you and starting something new with you or giving a new start opportunity after you've kind of been through it. Some of you are just letting somebody through to help you or finally letting somebody in here to help you. Maybe you've been doing everything by yourself and you're kind of tired of it and now you're just going to let somebody help you or somebody is coming in to help you, okay? It's just... I'm feeling like this is somebody wanting to invest in you and work with you and start something new with you and to help you uh, start something new financially, okay? Um, this could be an investor. This could just be somebody that wants to come in. Like I said, they, uh, they see you. They value your work, okay? This is a three of pentacles. This is of... Somebody watching your work, looking at you and saying, wow, you got a lot of talents. You got a lot of skills. You're doing a really good job. You're really awesome. I want to work with you. I want to invest in you. And that's what I'm seeing here with the Six of Pentacles, looking at you like, I want to invest in you. I want to work with you, right? This is awesome. This is an opportunity presenting itself of somebody that wants to invest in you, work with you in some way, okay? Tell me about this... Uh... Page of Pentacles for Leo for the second half of August. I don't know why I wanted to catch that one. It was kind of flipping. This is about manifestation. This is the card saying you got everything it takes. You are talented. You are good enough. You are good looking enough. You are charming enough. You are smart enough. You have all the skills. This is the card of manifestation. You can do it. The star, you know, this is definitely a card that's saying that whatever you want to have, you can have it. Believe it. Take the action. That's it. Just believe it. Take the action. Okay? Something that you've been wanting to manifest is going to be having a new start or a start. Okay? Some of you, it's involving a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Sun, moon, or rising. You have to know their birth time to know what their rising or their moon or the rising sign is. But some of you have been trying to manifest this water sign person and you want to start something new with them or they've been trying to manifest you to start something new with you. Whether this is a relationship, a love relationship, a business potential partnership, whether it's connected to this person that wants to invest in you. However, but let me tell you, Leo, this is a very positive association. This person is going to or wants to help you reach your pinnacle point here or invest in you. It's going to make you happy, believes in you, make you feel more confident about yourself. This is a sun card. Some of you, this is healing something that you've been trying to manifest with a water sign person. But this water sign person, okay, comes with the sun so there's somebody very positive that believes in you, that, that wants to help you manifest your dreams, that wants to start something new with you. And this person's coming in in the second week of August. They could have already, or maybe they're coming in in the, in the next couple of months. But this person believes in you. 
they see potential in you. They want it. They, they, they want, they are the sun here and part of this manifestation. So they want to start something new or help you start something new, or they want to begin something new with you. If this is a love potential relationship, it's going to be different for all of you. Take it how it resonates. But this water sign, sun, moon, or rising person is a very positive person. That's going to bring you a lot of hope and positivity in the future. This is your card, the sun card, but nonetheless, it came in right after that person, along with manifest manifestation, you know, with the magician being able to make anything you want happen and start something new that's solid that's going to bring you happiness. That's going to definitely bring you happiness. And I see this water sign, sun, moon, or rising person attached to it. I also got the high priestess after that. So this is a person that's very knowledgeable, very wise, very intelligent, very spiritual, has insights into secrets, hidden things, um, you know, is what I'm getting here. This person's going to be very knowledgeable. They're going to really help you. They're, they want to help you. If you allow this person to help you, they want to help you manifest your dreams. So let's take a look at this seven of wands for Leo. What is the seven of wands about for Leo for the second half of August? Well, we got the knight of wands. So there's movement happening here. Some of you are just taking charge and moving past this. Um, you know, something that you've been feeling like you have to defend yourself, whether it's in the workplace, fight your, fight your way through something, you know, people attacking you, all that stuff I said, you're now going to be seeing movement going forward with that because your courage, you're just, you're just, you're just going after it. Okay. This could be a younger fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Okay. We got the queen of pentacles. This is a Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. Seems like they're moving towards you or you're moving towards them. Or you guys, let me see. You're going to be getting communication from this person. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. I think they want to help you in some way too. They could be in the workplace or they could somehow be, this person's very stable. They have money together. They, they, they got their, they, they, they know how to, I'm getting the very pragmatic. They're very organized. They, they really want to, um, help you get out, get, whether it's networking, we got, you know, communication cards and starting something new, starting new creative endeavors with this person as well is a possibility. Um, but there's going to be communication coming back and forth. Now, for some of you, if this is regarding a love interest, that's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising or a water sign. Um, I do see them coming, wanting to communicate with you and move things forward. If they've been blocking you off or you guys been having difficulties. Okay. But take it how it resonates because it's going to be different for each of you. Again, um, I do see this person wanting to communicate with you or coming to communicate with you and want to start a new uh, situation with you. Okay. And the same goes with this water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But this can apply to work and business. It can apply to friendships. It can apply to however you want to, you know, love. But I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising that maybe you've been having difficulty with, or you've been feeling that way. You've been feeling just difficulty, people attacking you, people trying to undermine you, people working against you, um, whatever you have to feel like you got to defend yourself. Now I see somebody coming in here that wants to communicate with you, um, and help you network, uh, expand just, they seem positive. And we got the emperor. Okay. That could be an Aries, but it's a person in power or somebody that's, you know, um, a person in power, a boss, a supervisor, somebody in government, somebody that's runs businesses, companies, you know, somebody that's, that's higher up is coming in here that maybe they're going to connect you with a new boss, a new opportunity, a new person, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, or this emperor is going to connect you with this person that has something to do with something that's positive for you. And if it's in, regarding a love relationship, some of you have this emperor person that wants to communicate with you. And some of you have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's going to be communicating with you that maybe has been blocking you off or been difficult for some of you. But like I said, take it how it resonates because it's different. Now, let's see this queen of fire. This could be you, Leo. Second half of August.
Yeah, you're getting control. You are taking control. You are going to be seeing success and good things come into your life. This is the card of success, okay? It's gaining control of opposition, op opposite forces, forces working against you, feeling out of control, gaining control of that. It's also the card of travel for some of you. It's the card of cancer, which could be relevant for some of you. But I feel like you are gaining control, and this is also the card of triumphing. You're gaining control of things. You're moving things forward. Success is coming your way, Leo. I feel like in the next couple of months, you guys are going to really start seeing that. Because now we got the Three of Cups, which is celebration, feeling good, having a good time with friends, re reuniting, re reuniting, and the page, of, uh, the Knight of Cups. So some of you have somebody that's going to be traveling to you and reuniting with you, and it looks like it's a love interest, the potential for starting new with somebody here. Um, that's for some of you. Remember that each of these stories can all be one big story for you all, or some of you could be dealing with one particular situation and some of them is for somebody else. Okay. So if it doesn't resonate with you, some of you, I'm saying if this is a fire sign, another fire sign outside of you, a Leo Sagittarius or Aries, sun, moon or rising that might be traveling to you to reunite and wants to express their feelings for you, or this is you wanting to do that with somebody else. Or it could be a younger water sign, sun, moon, or rising, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces that wants to reunite with you and could be traveling with you. But ultimately, I see you guys getting control, feeling much more positive. Three of Cups is a card of celebration, reunion, having a good time, feeling emotionally like things are starting new for you as well. So take it how it resonates, okay? But it looks like the second half of August, it's the beginning of some really positive things moving in for you guys. Um, you're going to have some people that want to help you, want to invest in you, want to put their time into you. New beginnings here of starting new things. Some of you starting a new job. Some of you starting a new project. You know, getting out of this defensive, protective mode. Getting out of this, you know, these these difficulties of people attacking you, undermining you. People trying to, whatever it may be, difficulties, you know, when I look at this card, it's just like everybody's poking at you. And you're just like, come on, you know, and just... I feel like you're taking control of that. There's an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It's going to be helping you or playing a role in something that's coming in here. Or an emperor, a person in power, a person that's very, you know, could be a father figure, but it's, a, it's somebody in power also coming in to help you. And ultimately, I see you, whoa, got the 10 of Pentacles, big money coming in, Leo. Things are changing. Happy home, happy family, happy everything. You have this opportunity presenting itself to you, okay? Things are going to be moving positively. And you got somebody here that wants to travel to you, express their feelings to you, start new with you, or you know, you're getting control of yourself and now you want to travel or communicate with them, or you're just getting in control of your situation and you're feeling very positive and things are you're going to be socializing, having better times and feeling like you're emotionally starting new. So if it's not a love interest or it's not that, that's the that's what's happening there. Okay, but a lot of you are starting a lot of new things, manifesting things, having people that want to invest in you. So listen to it again, Leo, if you didn't catch it all, see what resonates with you. But these are some really positive things that are coming for you. And I'm so happy for you. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I love to hear from you guys as always. Um, if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my site at www.alumastrology.com. All my best to you. Lots of love to you as always. Until next time.